to get a license to extract sand and gravel or stone in the province of Ontario, you need a, an approved site plan, and that site plan includes a rehabilitation plan that's approved before you take the first spoonful of gravel out of the site. What we're going to be looking at to the south here is a rehabilitated wetland area. It's approximately, I think it's about a 35 hectare area. And this is an area that has already been historically extracted. It's a very good example of uh, progressive rehabilitation and some of the success the industry is having in restoring nature to the active areas where they're quarrying today. So this spot was previously uh, uh, an agricultural field. It only took three years to strip, fully extract the resource and rehabilitate it back to agriculture. What we place importance on is doing a great job, especially with regards to rehabilitation. We view it as our living resume. And that living resume of former sites that have been given new life include places like Christie Pits in Toronto, the vineyards at Vineland, the Royal Botanical Gardens in Burlington, and countless others that include subdivisions, recreation areas, and naturalized sites for birds, frogs, and fish. Despite all of this successful rehab, public perceptions about this business can still be a challenge. You know, we're not big corporate monsters. We're responsible stewards of the land. The environment is our business, so our business needs to be in the environment. I take a huge amount of pride in how well I can create a high-end environment that blends in with the natural landscape. Having that balance of leaving something enhanced, something better behind, it makes me you know, happy about the work that I do every day. 